I move like the city. With skyscrapers stand. I move like the city. With the money rubber band. I move like the city. Where everything's fast. I move like the city. And car lights fly. I move like the city. With skyscrapers stand. I move like the city. With the money rubber band. I move like the city. Where everything's fast. I move like the city. And car lights fly. Hey yo, my neighborhood is like a video set. Cameras move slow when the street get wet. Shake them up, roll money down, it's a bet. G's on the set, throw it up right to left. I move like the city, so the streets come with me. Back pocket whiskey. Keep me all pissy. Street thoughts got the feeling like a seesaw. Up, down, back up. I need to see more. The lean so mean. The gear all clean. Left arm up. Steering the machine. Eyes in the rear view. Gotta keep a clear view. When that money talk, the block gonna hear you. Ride with a rider. It'll be Good evening, my friends. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Billy Murphy, and we're gonna talk about how to deal with the police. I've been a judge, but I'm best known as a criminal defense lawyer. I know how the law works, and I know that for many people, the law sometimes doesn't work. But I'm gonna show you how to make the law work for you. I see how the choices my clients make have a massive impact on the outcomes of their police encounters, even if and especially if you've done nothing wrong. There are lots of good police out there doing what needs to be done. And I don't need to tell you that there are also few too many cops who don't respect the basic rights of innocent people. But you don't get to choose who you're dealing with. And even the nicest cop will use your mistakes against you. That's precisely why every citizen, every one of you, must possess the tools to confidently assert your rights if you have to. By the show of hands, who's here because either you, a friend, or a family member has been on the business end of a bad police encounter? Then you're in the right place. Who's got a story they want to share with the class? What's your story? I got hassled by Highway Patrol the other day. Tell us about that. When that money talk, the black boy here, you ride with a rider, it'll be like I was ready to explode. This was like the fourth time this year I've been pulled over for nothing. <sighs> License and registration? Yeah, I know the drill, man. Excuse me? License? Registration. No need for the attitude there, bro. I'm looking out for your safety and everyone else's on this road. <laughs> Whatever, man. OK, step out of the vehicle for me. Turn around What's and up, put man? your hands in the air. Turn around and put your hands in the air. Gosh, man. Walk forward. Walk forward. Hands on the hood. Hands on the hood me? of the car. Do it. Spread your legs. What are you doing, man? Relax. God, dude. I didn't do anything. Relax. God, I didn't do anything. You got a bad attitude. Now, I pulled you over because you were swerving between lanes. That's all. Now, you got a choice here. If you cooperate, you're going to make things a whole lot easier on yourself. Now, what that means is you got to be straight with me. You understand? Yeah. Here's the deal. You don't speak unless I ask a question. You understand? Yeah. All right. Oh, that hurts, man. That's too tight. Relax. You're fine. Now, where are you coming from? College. I'm coming from college, man. You've been having problems with gangs moving guns down this highway. You're not packing any Tech Nines in there, are you? No. No, sir. So you don't mind if I take a look? Ah, uh, go ahead. All right, Darren, you just relax. You don't move. Stand up. Stand up. Walk back with me. Keep walking. Keep walking. 
All right, have a seat. Have a seat, Darren. Now cross your legs. Cross your legs! And when that cop was done roughing me up, he made me sit there like a dog while he ripped up my car. I've got nothing to hide, but that's disrespectful. All right, you sit tight. I sat there forever while he hung out in his car. All right, Darren, stand up. Stand up. Turn around. This is a citation for excessive lane change. You take care of this as soon as possible. Sign that. Sign it. Here's your copy. Get your sh off my road. That cop profiled me. It's ridiculous. I go to school, I'm not a gun trafficker. I know exactly how you feel, man. That's why we're here. It's certainly possible you were profiled, but it's practically impossible to prove that. You never know for sure what's going on in an officer's head. I hate to say it, but from what I hear, it sounds like you broke the first rule of dealing with the police. Always be calm and cool. Hold up, are you saying that he deserved to get treated like that? No, what I'm saying is a police encounter is absolutely the worst time and place to vent your frustrations about police. Getting stopped by police is always frustrating and scary, but you could have played it much smarter by being calm and cool. As soon as you opened your mouth, you failed the attitude test. License and registration? <sighs> yeah, I know the drill, man. Your attitude only got worse. <sighs> Whatever, man. Don't ever talk right. back. Step out Don't ever raise your voice. Don't ever Step use out. profanity with the police officer. Turn around, so put your hands in the air. Being hostile with police is stupid and dangerous. Well, you can't the win the that game on the street on the where they're the king. Police have a dangerous job. Even the most professional officers might become aggressive if they feel threatened or if their authority is challenged. Always control your words, the tone of your voice, and your body language. If you're visibly scared and angry, it's easy for an officer to get scared and angry too. Things could have turned out way worse than they did. Now! On your stomach! On your stomach! Can you think of a better way you could have greeted that officer? Good evening, officer. How's it going? That's better. Calm and cool. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's all this polite talk? They don't respect us, so why should we respect them? For real. This isn't just about respect, it's about common sense. If you don't check your ego at the door and you let it take control of you during a police encounter, you'll regret it every time. Following the rules doesn't guarantee that the police will respect your rights, but they can keep you from digging yourself into a deeper hole. Let's talk about what your rights are in the first place. This is the Bill 